Greece, the land of mythology, where our passions collide, sailing and our love of the sea. A week in paradise, combining a family sailing holiday, crossed with a boat delivery. This isn't new, however, it is for us. Can we live in close quarters for a week and enjoy this amazing opportunity? How will Abigail get on with this brand new experience? Time will tell if we can take the plunge and make this a more permanent change. Uh, I looked on the uh, yes, yesterday and saw something called the white from the novice point of view. It's the outside route, there's lots of green and yellow. <laughs> and apparently the waves are reaching three metres, I think, which obviously for a cat isn't a problem, I understand. So, oh, this is going to get hard what do you think about Greek mythology, Abigail? Hmm? Uh, it's amazing. Uh, Lagoon 42. It's about 1pm local time when we arrive at our apartment in the centre of town. We really are spoiled here. The apartment is only two minutes walk from the underground station. This place goes on A whistle-stop tour of the ruins in the centre of Athens and of the temple of Hephaestus was found just one kilometre from our hotel and very easy to get to by way of the underground or on foot. The beauty of this place doesn't fail to impress us, only surpassed by its history. We couldn't miss the temple of Hephaestus. Seven. Don't know what the date is. Can't remember. Fifteenth, I think. Fifteenth of October. Um, we got into Skathos yesterday. Went out to eat. Gonna get the boat ready. We're on a. I'll introduce the boat. We're on a Lagoon Forty Two. Uh, we're buddy boating with a Beneteau Forty Five. The sun's just coming up, it's been up for about half an hour or so, just coming over the mountains. First coffee of the day. About the weather today, I mentioned it's a bit windy. I'm obviously a sailing novice, so I can't leave any of the technical details, all the instruments are off at the moment. Um, we're opting whether we're going to take inside 
uh, route or the outside route. Um, all I understand it from a complete novice point of view is the outside route there's lots of green and yellow <laughs> and apparently the waves are reaching three meters I think which obviously for a cat isn't a problem from I understand but we do have a five-year-old aboard and including myself and Abigail there are four complete sailor virgins. Uh, the inside route is blue with very very small areas so I think the consensus of the inside route at least for today and see how we go. Uh, it's currently 20 degrees uh, the wind is coming from the north east. Let's see how it goes. The tiny island of Skiathos is vibrant and still maintains its feel of a fishing port which is situated on the south side. It remains unspoilt by tourism. The quaint back streets are just begging to be explored. For once, I was able to take myself forward and do nothing, sit and relax while all the newbies got shown the ropes, taking out the jib, putting up the mainsail and learning their way through the systems. It was nice to be able to do nothing for a change, or so I thought. Within the next few days, things would change quite dramatically. Okay, so there's a lot of wind noise here, a bit of a rookie mistake on my part, so I do apologise. But essentially, Lee is explaining to me what all the readings are over speed over ground and everything else, the wind direction, the speed we're doing and things we have to take into account and also handily explaining to me the, the vibrations excuse me, that we get caused by the propellers spinning uh, and how over eight knots they need to be in the neutral position rather than in reverse when they get folded. It's all interesting stuff isn't it? There's so much to remember. No wind at all whatsoever. Um, about half past two, we decided to put the boat on the beach. <laughs> um, one minute we had six meters of water, next minute we had 80 centimeters. <laughs> 